Welcome back to my channel now as you could tell by the title you already know what we're gonna be talking about today now I was on I was scrolling on my timeline and I had seen this post about how mixed people are literally becoming a fetish and I was like what a great YouTube topic to rant and ramble about it's kind of sad do you know that right now in the strip club in New York, the bartenders are the new thing right now. And if you notice, they don't even hire black bartenders in New York City strip clubs, which is sad. Why do you think that is? Because uh, I, I feel like people is having these fetish with these girls that they consider exotic, you know? Um, now, before I get into this, this is not to make anybody feel uncomfortable. This is just to talk on, you know, events in our society and how people literally think this way. I don't want anybody feeling down like their parents got together to create a mixed baby. Like, just a disclaimer, this is not to put anybody down if you are a mixed person. This is just to speak on how society thinks. Now, so... What did this post say? Let me let me pull up the post. So the post said the mixed chick fetish. Although there are many women who feed off the mixed chick fetish ego, ego boost, a lot of biracial and lighter skinned women are sick and tired of being wanted for solely their looks. It's time to speak up. And then we have a clip of this woman who speaks up and shares her story. Hey everyone, my name is Naomi and today I want to talk to you guys about black men fetishizing mixed women like myself. Um, of course it's empowered and promoted by all these music videos of popular rappers and singers exclusively featuring lighter skinned women as the pretty one um or you know just things like that all the instagram models that are popular if they're women of color they're light-skinned women um it's a problem to me because there's a difference between a preference and a fetish and i know that it's a fetish because when i ask these black men that are attracted to me why they are attracted to me the only thing the only things they name are the features that I have and that mixed women, women have, that light-skinned women have, that are non-black. This tells me that you are still stuck in the mindset that the colonizers put into our heads. And that mindset tells you that non-black features are more beautiful um, than your own features so black features and you know ask yourself why why is that more beautiful because it creates division within you know the black community but also just communities of color in general so I just wanted to really speak on this because this is like for me as a um, predominantly black woman I always like whenever I go to film sets because I am a I do work in the film industry or whenever I go to sets as a model I'm always asked what are you and then it's followed but but what are you mixed with and I'm just like I'm black like you know there is a percentage of Chinese and there is a percentage of Native American in me but I'm mostly black I feel like today's society looks at 
beautiful people as having to be mixed with something especially black women a lot of us can't just be black we can't just be black and have black features to be seen as beautiful so we are like always asked what are we mixed with and if we are if our response is i'm not mixed i'm just black it's always it's always this condescending look with this head tilt oh like that that exact look oh and then it's followed with oh i could have swore you were this and this or this and that or this or the and i'm like nah honey just black just african-american just black honey so i just definitely feel like a lot of people are brainwashed to think that mixed people or just people who are quote-unquote beautiful have to be mixed and i feel like this goes hand in hand with you know being light-skinned a lot of people think that being red bone light skin whatever you want to call it you have to be mixed to look this this way i'll post some pictures as a reference and i just want to make something clear real quick um a lot of people probably miss biology class but you don't have to be mixed to come out light skin and i feel like a lot of people in our generation today have this sick 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 mentality of Oh, since I'm dark skin or since I'm light skin, I'm going to get with somebody of this skin complexion so our babies could come out like this. A lot of people think that and I really hope that when they do have kids that their kids come out looking the complete opposite because I feel like literally there are men out here, there are dark skin men out here getting with light-skinned women or white women to have mixed children same with dark-skinned women there are dark-skinned women who are getting out who are getting with white men or who are getting with light-skinned men so they can have children who are of a lighter skin complexion and it is it is really like sick it's really sick to do that like i feel like it's sort of becoming a fetish i'm not sure if a lot of you watched the memorial for nipsey hustle but yg in his speech he even um said he said himself like it was really like when he said this it was really sick and disgusting and the fact that the guy standing next to him who was also a dark-skinned man laughed it off i was like that is disgusting but he in his speech he said we have some pretty light-skinned babies to make and or to raise bro we got we got some light-skinned pretty girls we gotta raise we in trouble my nigga and that just goes to show you how even in the the rapper community or just the celebrity um community a lot of people fetishize creating or just being with light-skinned people light-skinned women light-skinned men i think more women than men but a lot of people are fetishizing this and the features that people are fetishizing is not only the skin complexion but the hair type the the loose curl hair type and then the facial features having a nice slim nose but nice full lips and then um having like green or blue or hazel eyes that's what people are fetishizing and i feel like this is such this is so problematic and it's very problematic because of how people are going about it people are literally being or going for a certain type so they could create a certain type of baby which is a mixed child now why is this a problem why i know some of you people are like oh well preference is preference what if they are what if they're just attracted to that or who who cares what they want their child to look like that's their preference maybe they grew up wanting to look like this so now they want to have kids who look like this who cares mind your business right this is an issue because again mental health i mention mental health a lot now in my in my videos but mental health is very big okay sometimes kids will ask you like or wonder why they don't look like their parents or you know and then 
like I know for a lot of like mixed people because I made videos on um, mixed people before on my on my YouTube channel a lot of mixed people will have this you know this problem where it's just like okay I don't look like my mom I don't look like you know I look like both my parents but obviously I look different I don't know which community I could really say I'm a part of because you know I mixed with both so it creates that mental health issue within the kid and not only that you're it's this relationship of this this kid is not being created out of love this kid is cre being created out of the fetish in today's society of wanting mixed babies so to even have a kid that's not created from love is the problem not even like along with fetishizing mixed people in their feet in their features it's the fact that you're not genuinely creating children out of love you're creating children out of oh my baby has to have loose curls my baby has to have green eyes my baby has to have full lips my baby has to have a thin nose you know what i mean like it's psychotic it is literally like you need to see a motherfucking therapist okay it is psychotic now oh i don't really know if i have anything else to say <laughs> but i just feel like along with the mix along with the mixed people fetish there is also a fetish i feel like starting to rise up with dark skin a lot of people are fetishizing dark skin now because obviously um in today's social media we are dark skinned people are fighting to be seen we are fighting to be appreciated we are fighting because again light skinned people is so uplifted and so cherished and always put on a forefront of magazines tv shows and everything our skin complexion doesn't really get that much representation so today in today's social media we are fighting to be seen and fighting to be appreciated so as this fight goes on i feel like more and more it's a fight but some people are fetishizing dark skin sort of like like i don't really know how to explain it but some people are it's either they're fetishizing dark skin or they're posting or saying certain stuff about dark skin to just get likes and follows so even on tiktok um you know the the pop smoke sound oh i love her dark skin love her melanin a lot for a for a while a lot a lot a lot of white men was using that sound to get likes and to get follows from dark skinned women thinking oh if they see me a white man appreciating their dark skin then they're gonna like me they're gonna follow me clout for me so a lot of white boys was doing this at a time and i feel like some people are fetishizing dark skin but they're not fetishizing all types of dark skin they're only fetishizing um women with dark skin who have european features not everybody's fetishizing i mean i don't want to say not everybody's fetishizing but not everybody is celebrating the all types of dark skin so i feel like even with having mixed fetishes people are having fetishes of dark skin also real quick i want to just say with dark skin also being fetishized i feel like dark skin is only fetishized or uplifted in social media if it's um being shown on a women women who have european um features or if they're being sexualized in a type of way so dark skin is only celebrated if it's on a woman who's showing who's showing a lot of skin or on a woman who is you know who has like a fat ass or a woman who has a slim nose so that is also something that is very um big and something that is a part of this issue with just overall skin tone and complexions being fetishized because now people who do have dark skin yes now they're seeing their skin represented but now they're not seeing their features represented or they are seeing their skin type being represented but shown in a sexualized um light 
So that is also a problem within today's society because it is showing misrepresentation due to people having fetishes and that can create a lot of mental anguish for, you know, just kids who want to see people who look like them in the media. And again, that is that also creates a lot of problems up here with our mental. So I don't know why the fuck I made this video. I just want to talk. I just want to talk about it and spread awareness. So if you as a dark skinned or light skinned woman are in a relationship, make sure people are in a relationship with you for the right reasons. Because a lot of people have these other intentions that you might not know about and you might be thinking this person's really down for me we're gonna get married you're gonna have kids and their only intentions to be with you is because they want to just have mixed babies or their only intentions to be with you is because they love and they are fetishizing your skin and that can create a lot of uh ooh. Okay, I forgot what I was gonna say. If you need to stop texting me, oh my goodness. Um, this can create a lot of issues within the relationship, not even after having mixed kids, but creating a lot of issues within the relationship. But even then, like I feel like people who have this, people have this idea that mixed people only look like yellow skin green eyes curly hair no there are mixed people who come out dark skin there i literally went to school with a girl who had a dark skin black mom and a very light skin pale white white father and she was dark skin she looked just like me now her brother her baby brother was um light skin he looked mixed her, her baby brother did look mixed and i remember he had like hazel eyes but her she was full-on dark skin and they had the same parents they had the same parents she was full-on dark skin i feel like a lot of people think that freaking mixing skin complexions or like being with uh, somebody who's lighter skin tone and your darker darker skin tone i feel like people think mixing dna is like mixing paint it's not like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you, but mixing DNA is not like mixing paint colors. You don't mix black with white and get gray. Okay? You don't get a light black. It's like, you know, it's not like that. Okay? <laughs> like, people are so fucking stupid, and people are actually out here having relationships thinking that that's what they're gonna get for their baby? No! Not all the time. I hope that you guys who are out here looking to get with somebody who is lighter skin or who is darker skin solely for the reason to have mixed light skin babies. I hope your baby comes out dark skin. I hope your baby comes out dark skin with the most blackest fucking features because you're a part of the problem. You're a part of the fucking problem, sir. Dark skin is beautiful, black features is beautiful, and hell, I'm gonna motherfucking say it. A lot of people are fetishizing mixed people because of their black features. Because of their black features. The full lips. It's the lips, baby. It's the lips, okay? It's the melanin. It's the melanin, okay? So without the dark chocolate, you wouldn't even have that. You wouldn't even have what you're fetishizing, okay? So stop hating on moi. Stop hating on people who have dark skin, full lips, black features. Because at the end of the day, without us, you won't have this. You won't have this product that you're fetishizing. So if anybody is out here seeking a person who is dark skin or light skin who, or who looks different from them to have mixed babies, I hope your baby comes out the complete opposite of how you were fucking hoping. And that's that, okay? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Again, this was just me ranting and rambling and giving my opinion like I always do. Let me know what your opinions are down in the comment below. What do you think about mixed people being fetishized in today's society? Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Mwah! Bye guys. I don't need no, I don't, I don't need no, I don't, I don't need